YouTube, Shea Bear 1000 here. We haven't messed with this Simplicity tractor for a while, so let's do a couple little things on it. Get ready for the race tomorrow. Okay guys, all in all, this, this tractor does need a little work. As you can see, it's missing a wheel down there, and it'll catch on stuff, uh, which bends that in and causes that paint to crack. It's dirty, needs cleaned up, but it'll clean up okay. But um, it's not, you know, I mean, you can tell, like, it's darker orange there than up here. Um, but we're going to wash it off. Does need a battery and blades, really, is all it needs uh, to be functional. And that wheel down there. Well, it's going to need this piece, too. But I can fix this. I can fabricate something there for that. So... You know, it's going to need a wheel, an outer wheel there. Um, maybe one there. This one seems to be okay. So, but anyway, we're not going to worry about that today. Today, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this hood off of here. Get this bees nest out of here. We're going to take the hood off. We're going to yank that muffler off of there. Because in a race... I want my shit to be loud, you know what I mean? So let me get you on the stand. This is easy. All I got to do is pull that hair clip out or hair pin, whatever you prefer. And that one on this side. And, um, yeah. And we'll get the hood off of there. Then we got to take this cover off. I've had this off before because we was messing around with that. Um, so let's go ahead get you on the stand here okay so yeah right monkey using my using my stand and uh, <laughs> I'm sorry not to last forever just wish she would have told me about it because I was bringing this out and it fell off and I couldn't find it so, yeah, do something with that. But anyway, as you can see, I did finally find it. But when I was bringing my stand out, it fell down in where the uh, where the leaves are over there. I'm gonna start by taking the headlights out. And to do that. Just turn them a quarter turn and they'll pop right out. This has got a clip to hold it in there. Just like that. Now we're going to move these out of the way so I don't break them. I'm going to pull, pull this pin out. Maybe. Let me grab a screwdriver. Pop these out, watch them launch across your shop. That's always fun. Or out in the yard, even better. Especially when you live in a sandy place like we do. Alright, now these, this hood should just. right out of there. Just like that. Try not to lose this rubber piece right here. Last time I had it out I lost the one on the other side. But that's okay. Alright, now we have to get to the muffler. Muffler's right underneath that thing there. 
if I remember right, I think I pulled this whole unit off. Uh, there's two bolts here, two bolts on the other side, and I think that came out. If memory serves me correctly. But I'm not real sure. So let me study this a little bit. Something a hole there for something. Let me study this. And then we'll take this off. Looks like I got two down underneath. Can't remember. You're not supposed to do that. But here's the exhaust. Problem we're going to have with this, I know it's only temporary. Is the part that holds the hood on zoom going in again? Also holds a muffler on. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue or not. But let's go ahead and take these out. Looks like those are probably 916ths. No, they're halves. Let's go ahead and take them out. Now we might be all right. I'd like to run a stack on this thing, but I don't have the tube to do that. So well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take them two bottom bolts out. There we go. There she's off. Now, that's a metal hood. But, I don't want to burn the paint off of it. So, we need to come up with some kind of turn down on it. But first, let's hook this up to the battery charger and see what it sounds like.
big difference. So, now, let me see if I can find some pipe. But first, we're going to listen to the difference. See how close it's going to be to the hood, and then, damn it, then we'll see if we need a turn down or something there. These thing, these things sound really good with a stack. Just to get an idea of what we're looking at here, yeah, um, I don't know. First, we better. We better get these other pieces back on over here. The hood mount. And then that way we know what we're looking at a little better. You know, I think that'll be good enough for now. Let me get that bolted back on. I broke one of these but it'll be all right I, I can still get it started let me get this bolted back up then we're probably gonna take it over here wash it clean it up I'm not gonna worry about this under here yet but we're just gonna wash it up enough for llama right as Terrell would say it ain't the space shuttle well he'd be more like it ain't the space shuttle <laughs> love that guy Alright, so what we're going to do now, there's a couple ding dad waller whoppers there in the hood. I'm not worried about it. It's just a tractor. But let's let it dry out here. And I got a little bit of polish. Uh, it's a scratch remover. But let's see if it'll bring some of that back. This is what I got here. I did a review on this a while back. It doesn't work that great. But I figure, for this old girl, 
Let's test it out. Maybe it'll bring some color back. We'll see. You just do like you do a, uh, you know, a rubbing a polish or whatever. That hood is a little warm. I don't like that. Okay. Is there a difference? I don't know. Let's try it up here where it's a little cooler. I rubbed I rubbed this just with a just with a well with this thing without any of that stuff, so I don't have any regular car polish. Or a buffer. If I had a buffer, it'd look alright. Well, yeah, it's bringing it back somewhat. I don't know how well the camera's showing it up, but. I'm going to do that to the whole tractor and we'll see what we come out with. I'll set you right here. Let's get a before. There's a before. Ah, great, right on the ground. That's all right. Is there a difference? Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do the whole tractor. Well, probably just the hood. I don't know if I'm going to do the back. I may, yeah, I, I guess it needs it. See, it sat out over there for over a year in the sun. When he first parked it, I mean, this thing was, you know, it was immaculate. Well, immaculate looking. It still needed work, but. Let me get this hood done. I may pull it up here a little closer in the shade. So we'll get the hood done, and then we're going to check it out. See if it looks any better. I mean, it's got to help, right? So let me back you up here, and uh, I'm going to pull this forward and get it in the shade. Because you don't want that stuff to dry too quick because then it's a pain in the ass to get off. And this keeps falling off my tripod. I'm going to figure out a way to fix that. I'm not sure. Probably put a bolt in it. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'll be back with you guys. Hang tight. Alright guys. I got the hood done. Um, yeah. That stuff's junk. Don't buy it. <laughs> better off just go get you some rubbing compound but anyway it worked all right for this I still think that color would come back out if I buffed it um, we got some blue down there I got some blue here so you know where I'm going with this ain't no racing vehicle complete without racing stripes am I right guys so let's put some racing stripes on here Racing stripes installed. <laughs> Those are go fast stripes, right? You put stripes on it, it goes faster. You put chrome on it, it goes faster, right? No, chrome don't get you home, guys. Alright, so we're ready for <laughs> we're ready for the race, alright? Okay guys, so there we are. 
I don't know. It's loud and it's proud. It needs a lot of work. But it's good enough to run in the race tomorrow. So remember, live stream, live lawnmower drag race tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So adjust your clock accordingly. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 BXX32. All right, guys, and uh, we'll say Shea Bear, Myth Man Legend. I'm gone for now. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow at the race. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.